Today, I'm going to show you why the Korg Volca Keys might be the only analog synthesizer that you need. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. Today's patron shoutout goes to Eric Wagner. Thank you so much for helping out the channel. If you would like to show your support, just head over to patreon.com slash freebeat. So, you heard the intro. I'm going to show you why the Korg Volca Keys might be the only analog synthesizer that you need. So really quick, let me give you a brief overview of the Korg Volca Keys. It's of course made by Korg, part of the Volca series, one of the original three Volcas. And this one was designed to be just a pretty straightforward analog synthesizer, which it is. It is true analog. You've got all the usual controls that you would expect on an analog synth, VCO, VCF, LFO, and an envelope generator. It's got several different play modes that take advantage advantage of the three different oscillators. It has a built-in delay effect with both time and feedback controls. It has a built-in step sequencer, which is uh, a little tricky to learn, but once you get the hang of it, pretty fun. It's got a built-in ribbon keyboard that you can play, or you can do what I've done for this video and connect an external keyboard via 5-pin MIDI. In this case, I have the Arturia Keystep 37. It can also run on batteries or powered by a wall adapter. And it retails for 149 US dollars, making it one of the cheapest true analog synthesizers on the market right now. So to determine if this is all of the analog synth that you need, you first need to think about analog synthesis and think like, what does it mean to you? Now, when I think of analog synthesis, the two things that come to mind are fat, heavy bass, and those screaming leads that like Rush and Sticks used. And I'm guessing that a lot of people have those same thoughts. And if I've just described you, then the Korg Volca Keys might very well be all that you need in terms of an analog synthesizer, because it can do both of those things really, really well. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So let's dive into bass. Right now I've got all the controls to the left, so we don't really have any sounds here. Let's go ahead and set our play style to unison mode. That's going to be monophonic and it's going to be perfect for a bass sound. Let's go ahead and first bring up our decay slash release. And now let's go ahead and bring up our filter cutoff so we can hear something. There we go. We'll dial in our resonance and cutoff a little later. Now what I need to do is to bring down the octave on my keyboard here. There we go. Three octaves down. That sounds good. Now we're gonna bring up the sustain, which is gonna allow us to hold the note down. We'll just max that. And just right out of the gate, we can already hear, that's a pretty good bass. Classic analog. Let's bring up our filter resonance. It's labeled as peak on the Volca keys. Now bring down the cutoff. Get those beautiful sweeps. Push the resonance a little further. A little more. There we go. I know there's a lot of folks out there that are just after that sound right there. The Volca Keys can do it at probably like half the price of the next best option. And of course, there are a lot of other options that are under the $500 category, but today we're just talking about the Volca Keys because it is the cheapest. So that sounds great right there, and that's a, a more than suitable bass for a lot of different styles of music. However, let's go ahead and fatten it up using the detune knob. And one of the great things about the Volca keys is that almost everything is knob per function. So we have our own dedicated detune knob. Let's go ahead, hold down our note, and uh, fatten this sound up a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. How good is that? And we got there, you know, within seconds, just tweaking a few knobs and we've already got this thick, beautiful bass. Yeah. So let's turn the detune back off. And now I want to jump up to octave mode. So this play style is going to take our oscillators and split them an octave apart rather than having them all on the same note. So. Even with the detune off, this still should sound pretty thick. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is so good. And again, we barely scratched the surface of what the Volca keys can do. We're not even gonna touch the LFO in this video, which can drastically alter your sound. You can actually even get into some really, really rudimentary FM synthesis with uh, the LFO. And uh, it's, it's very cool. I actually have a video using the LFO to create a very heavy bass patch. Uh, I will link that in the description, so check that out if you're interested. So we briefly covered bass. Let's jump up and cover leads now. So the first step, we are gonna turn the detune knob off again. We're gonna jump up, let's go three octaves. There we go, just like that, nice. Already sounds pretty darn good, but we can of course continue to tweak this to our liking. Mess with our cutoff. Now let's detune it and see what it sounds like. Awesome. I'm gonna increase my decay release knob here. go there's a little uh, xanadu for all you rush fans out there uh yeah just a an instantly classic sound right there and of course we can push this even further i think the lead sounds better in unison mode I'm not a keyboard player, so don't judge my playing. Uh, but you can hear how good that sounds with like no effort on our part. Let's go ahead and increase the portamento, which is gonna get us that awesome slide between notes. <laughs> uh, some Judy Garland for some reason, awesome. Yeah, you can have a lot of fun with this thing very, very quickly. It's also immediate, which is one thing that I'm really starting to discover that I look for in uh, electronic music gear. I really like immediacy. Maybe that means I'm too lazy to actually learn gear, but I don't think so. Anyway, now we know it can do awesome leads as well. Let's check out unison ring mode and poly ring mode because that also gives us access to square waves. I'm gonna bring the portamento down. So if you are after a square type analog lead, we can actually bring the decay release down. And there you go. And we can bring the detune down as well. Sounds pretty good, pretty good. One last trick is we can actually go to poly mode and now we can play chords. So this does have three note polyphony in poly mode. Now it's not true polyphony. All the notes share the same VCO, VCF, LFO, and envelope generator. But if you need chords, the Volca keys can do it. Let's increase the attack and the decay. There we go. And one last trick that I forgot to show you, we're gonna switch it back to unison mode. I'm gonna leave the decay maxed, but I'm gonna bring the attack all the way down. And we're gonna go to the feedback and time controls for the delay effect. Actually, a tiny bit of attack. So we uh, bring up the feedback, there we go. Increase our time so it's a little longer. And it's honestly a pretty good effect considering it's built into the Volca keys and combine that with the fact that you get the full sequencer with the ability to record your parameter changes in real time and uh, have those like integrated into your sequence. There's a lot you can do with this. But again, the point of this video was just to show you that if you are after an analog synthesizer, just because you want a nice bass and a nice lead, 
The Korg Volca keys can take care of both of those for you at a fraction of the cost of some of those other synthesizers out there. So if you are looking for either of those sounds, the Korg Volca keys is an excellent option. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.